My name is Thomas Vale, or at least it was. I'm a photographer. I had it all, a wife, Allison, friends, a career. And in one moment, it was taken away. All because of a single photograph. I have it. They want it. And they will do anything to get the negative. I'm keeping this diary as proof that these events are real. I know they are. They have to be. I run, whether I'm running towards something or away from it, I'm not always sure. And then there are times that I stop out of sheer exhaustion and fear because I need a job and money to live on. During the last few months, I've found that I am not the only person who lives in fear. Fear takes many shapes and claims many victims. This is the fourth time that I've been to this house, and it is a house of fear. I know it, I can feel it, and I can smell it. But it's difficult to determine if what I feel is the fear that I carry with me, or if something inside this house, or perhaps even the house itself has nightmares of its own. Because we live in darkness and hide in the shadows, we remain mostly unknown. I suspect that there are more of us in the darkness than most people imagine. Those who hide, those who fear. I know this is where I live. Medium pepperoni, onions, and an extra large stromboli special. Yeah, okay. Pull the jalapenos. All right. Come on, keep it moving, okay, Peppy. man, I'm doing it. People are starving out here. Yeah, I know, I know. You better put on your hat. Okay, I can't up. find it. Hmm, brace yourself. Hats cost three dollars. You make six fifty an hour, so maybe next time you'll hold on to yours. If you're not out in ten minutes, I'll call in the troops. Peppy, we're backing up here. Yeah, I Tom, know we have orders here. going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's your yeah. hat, Tom? Yeah, I don't know, maybe man. in the car. Huh? Maybe? Yeah, hats cost three dollars, Tom. You make six fifty an hour. Maybe next time you'll hang on to yours. There you go, man. Fifth night in a row. Looks like you picked up Joel's old run. South Ardmore. The guy's a weirdo. Wouldn't know. I've never seen him. Yeah, that's what I mean. Nobody has ever seen him. The pie goes in, the money comes out. Weirdo. He keeps to himself. He's not hurting anybody. You're not anybody we know about. Right? That's right. You find that hat, I want the new one back. And don't think I didn't see you take that soda. Come on, Peppy. Hurry up. OK, order up. <sighs> Thank you.
Pizza's here. Hey, everything okay in there? get dehydrated I forget to drink you have to drink to stay alive right okay, here you go you can hold this sorry I really don't like to be touched okay uh, all right well I'll just put this right here you're the pizza guy right yeah, I'm the pizza guy uh, then this is for you. No, 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 it's on me. Forget it. No, 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 please take it. Forget it. You don't have to shout. Sorry. Here you go. So, uh, when, when was the last time, uh, somebody else was in this house? When was the last time you were out of this house? You, thank you for the pizza. You can go now, please. Hey. Hey. You need a doctor. No doctors. Look, I'm fine. I just got a little dehydrated. I'm, I'm fine now, okay? Okay. Okay. You're pretty good at this stuff, huh? Okay, so what's, uh, what's this thing? It, it's a router. Right. I guess, uh, it comes in handy when you've got some major routing to do. It's a high bandwidth connection to the network. Oh. Okay. Don't you know anything about computers? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, they're confusing and impersonal. When I get near one, it doesn't work. 
You don't get it at all, do you? No. <laughs> this stuff is, uh, it's beautiful, man. It's pure poetry. It's, it's orderly. It's logical. It's contained. On, off, zero, one. The power to recreate intelligence, maybe even better at <laughs> Click, click, on, off. It's beautiful. Well, I, I guess I'm just more the beer, babes, and baseball type. <laughs> you think I can't do that here? You think I can't go there? What do you want? Major League scores from the US? How about from Tokyo? Batting averages from 1960. Team earnings, league profits, ballpark dimensions, architect names, come on, name it. Koufax's ERA. What do you want? What do you want? How about just a bag of peanuts? You think you're joking, right? There is a market down on Flower and Carlson. They have a fax machine and they deliver. What do you want? Salted or un? In the shell or out? <laughs> all right, all right. I get your point, but I mean, that isn't everything, Scott. I mean, there's more to life than just click, click, zero, one. I mean... Oh, yeah. You're out there uh, delivering pizzas in a paper hat. Are you having fun? I'm flesh and blood, man. I'm out there. I'm out there. I haven't been computerized. Wrong! You think you can avoid this? You think that just because you're not sitting in front of a monitor, that you're not involved in this? You're in here. We're all in here. Like it or not, this is one big cyberspace gangbang, and we're all invited. No. You won't find me in there. What? What are you talking about? Well, this isn't the dark ages. This isn't the 70s. You get a paycheck, you rent an apartment, you buy something in a discount store, you're in here. I could get your whole life up here in one second. Okay. Go ahead, show me what you can find. I'll need some information. Name? Thomas J. Vale, V E I L. What's your social security number? It's 549-24-1889. Totally amazing. What? You found me. Well, I, I, I did, and I didn't. What was that supposed to mean? You've been deleted, man. Big time up. I've never seen anything like it. I, I, I can't understand this. It's amazing. Wow. What does that mean? If I've been deleted, how could you find me? Well, I found you because I know what I'm doing. You have to understand that deleted files only look deleted to the system. And until they're wiped out, if you know what you're doing, you can find them. And they haven't all been wiped? Well, most of them have been. What is this? Do you realize the access required to accomplish something like this? You couldn't do it. The President of the United States couldn't do it. This is big time, big brother, freaky stuff, man. It's almost impossible. Obviously not entirely. Why? Well, yeah, but how? I mean, computers are not centrally linked. This would take years, and even then, how do you get into every computer, into every database, access secure lines, and totally eradicate every trace of a person's life? <laughs> Who the hell are you? She's pretty. Thank you. And you have no idea how she got into this? No, I'm not sure. I mean, part of me needs to believe she was pressured. And somehow she did what she did because she was trying to protect me, but... I know 
part of me just... It's hard with people. You, you can't always be sure. I mean, not like computers. Click, click. Yeah, but computers don't light you up with a look of recognition. They, you know, they don't uh, brighten when you come into a room. cigar it's a phrase man Cl close but no cigar uh, I know I'm just, yeah I know I need a little light in here. hey close it it's too bright in here come on God. it's better like this it's it's always twilight in here it's it's always the same I, I don't have to worry about what the outside world is doing right now because right now never changes. Hey, um... Scott, you know... You know, before your parents died, did you go out? Did... I mean, you must have had friends from school or... Hey, I got my first computer when I was 13 and it's the first time I ever remember feeling happy. Happy or just safe. Like there's a difference. <laughs> hey, hey, man, it's all the same. No, it isn't. Safe is happy. You were safe and you felt happy. Now you're not. Scott, there's more to it than that. I mean, it's. I, I don't know. It's a feel of fall on your face. It's. It's the pain in your stomach after one chili dog too many. I. It's something, something lost. It's something gained and. Somebody's touching the side of your face. And it's being, it's being afraid and... and loving someone. And being loved. That is a poem, man. That's something you read in a book. That's something you look at over and over again, wanting it to be real, and it never is. Scott, you can't live without other people. I mean, believe me, I know you can't live without human contact. I don't live without human contact. I just make it the way I need it to be. What is this? You know what virtual reality is? No, not first hand. Well, you want to know how I get by, right? With virtual reality, I can create any environment I want. And it's as good as the real thing. feel for it, just move your legs like you're walking. Believe it? 
it's real. <laughs> Hi, Scott. says the right thing. Oh, this is my friend, Tom. Hi, Tom. Well, you had no trouble talking when you were giving me advice. S sorry. S sorry, hi. Didn't we make arrangements for you to uh, bring a friend? If you're going to play hard to get, then it just means I get to keep both of them for myself. She's in my database now, but don't worry. I'll save her for you. I'm taken. Would you?
Not two hours after you passed out. What are you doing? I think I found a way to get to whoever's doing this to you. What? I thought... No, you said... No, no, no. What I said is I'm the best. Whoever the hell they are, they're not better at this than me. See, I just had to stop relying on the domain servers and plug in some raw IP addresses. I'm getting through some major doors now. I guess I really freaked you out with the VR. Your brain must have gone into overdrive. It just felt so real. It is real. That's what I told you. I mean, your 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 head believes it, and your everything else goes along for the ride. I think I've got something. What? It's a government computer at MIT. Tricky. What's that? They've routed you through a weather server in Reykjavik. One more, and we got it. Oak Park, Michigan. I don't know why this is taking so long. This isn't happening. What? I can tunnel into my system. What you turn turn the power off? I can't, not with them in here. I gotta get them out. Damn it, get out of here! Get out of here! They know where we are, man. Scott, we gotta get out of here. My whole life, this is everything I've got. Damn it, get out of here! Get out of my system! Scott, we gotta go, we gotta go. I can't stay out here. Why are they doing this to us? I'm not sure. Maybe maybe we got too close. Maybe we wandered into something that they didn't want us to see. Either way, we're not safe here. Scott, Scott, you got to listen to me. Listen, you know, anybody who lives around here, anybody at all? Relatives, like friends of the family, anybody. Scott, we got to get off the street. Scott, Scott, think. Think. I have no friends. I have no friends. I have no friends. There's got to be somebody oh. someplace. Only Pam, only Pam. Pam, who's Pam? She's my teacher, my high school computer teacher. It's gone this ten years ago. That's the only one I can think of. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. What's her last name? Peters, Pam Peters. She Peters? Lives, she lives on Larchmont. Okay, 
I'm gonna find the phone booth. I'm just gonna leave you here for five minutes. Don't leave me. I just don't leave me. I gotta find out if I can even don't find her. Me. I'm just, just going to the corner. Don't I'll be right leave back. Leave me. Don't leave me. Please. Okay. 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 They took everything. They took my whole life. They took my whole life. They took my whole life. person he could think of. Do you mind if we uh, come in? Oh, sure. Uh, yes, please. Come on in. He was always the best. Whenever everybody else saw dead ends, Scott saw open doorways. He was such a bright kid. At 18, he designed a significant piece of software for a venture capital firm. And I, I heard he made a good deal of money off of it. Yeah, he told me he's been living off the profits and bonuses for the last 10 years. I, I had heard that he had some problems, you know, after his parents died, but I had no idea. Oh, a rough whimper of insanity. What's that? Uh, a rough whimper of insanity. It's an anagram, something that Scott discovered, a rearrangement of the phrase information superhighway. God, in a sad way, it really seems to fit. Well, yeah, he seems to take more comfort in solos in front of a computer monitor than it does in the real world. Yeah, well, the world's been pretty cruel to him. God, I just wish I had known how far it had gone. Maybe I could have been there for him. Well, I think in some ways you were. Well, he's really lucky to have a friend like you. Actually, we just met. Um, he was helping me track down some information at his house, and then there was a problem, and we had to get out pretty quick. Damn it. The permissions on this file are locked. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to locate a file. So why can't you just circumvent the permissions and access it directly? Well, you can't fetch it without initiating defense. Forget first. it. Forget it, Scott. We've already been there. Wait a minute, I think well, maybe there's a way to do this. Let me just be clear. You are trying to access a highly secured file that's uh, surrounded by firewalls? Okay. Okay. Of course. Scott, how do you get the file? I, I don't, I don't no. know what you're saying. The answer's in the question. How do you look at a file that you can't open and you can't fetch? <laughs> you don't try. That's right. You guys should come with a dictionary. What are you talking about? We don't try to get the file, we go to the file, Oak Park, Michigan. We can go there. We, we can look at the file, we just can't take it with us. Go on. Essentially, you'll be making a one-way connection. No one will even know the file's been read. How do we go there? I'll need your VR helmets. Scott. All right, Tom, let me plug you in. Okay. Where are we? Discarded heat memory, random data that they use to fill the space between files. Sure, gone to a lot of trouble to dress this place up. Somewhere around here should be the door to your file.
This is it. What is it? It's a painting of the photograph I told you about. Stand back. Okay, one of these is yours. No, 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 don't worry. They're all sequential. We just have to find the right sword key. Okay, let's see. There's eight digits. It's not a driver's license. Okay, it's not a social security number. Which date? 1, 120, 1985. Maybe it's a birthday. No, 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 that's not a ten-year-old girl. Where do we start? Eight digits. It's a date. I bet you it was the date that the file got copied to the disk. It's August 28th, 1995. That was the day. The day it happened. What? The day I lost everything. This is 70s, 80s. It's gotta be up there. How are you at virtual climbing? Well, I guess we'll find out. Nice and slow. Oh, I see. How you doing? My heart is bugs. I can't give me a footing. Take it easy. Remember, it's virtual reality. It's okay, I'll get the files. I found it, 828.95. This is it, man. This is really it. Scott, what does it say? Oh my god. What? It's not what you thought. Just bring it down, Scott! Scott, what's happening? What the hell is happening? I think they're deleting... They're deleting the system! You gotta get out of here! Get down here, come on! Come on! Tom, 
I can't. Scott, there's no more time! I can't! Go! Now! Dear God. Scott! <laughs> Scott! Scott, come on. Come on, Scott, come back to us. Come on. All right, I need you to tell me everything that happened in there. We were trying to get out, and the walls were disintegrating. And Scott said it was because they were deleting the system. And he could have made it. He stopped intentionally. What the hell is going on? I think he's still in there. I think when the system went down, he went down with it. What are you talking about? It wasn't real. We weren't really there. Yeah, but if your mind believes it, it's real. This is insane. Scott. 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 It wasn't real. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It wasn't real. It didn't happen. Scott. It was like two more feet you could have made. Tom, it was what he wanted. You made a choice. What? What, to stay in that room while it disintegrated? I don't think that he thought there was anything out here for him. There's a chance that he can still find his way back. So he can come back? Yeah, he could if he wants to. Tom, I'm not sure that he ever will. Those of us who live in fear keep our secrets hidden, protected from prying eyes, and only Scott knows what drove him to make the decision that he made. And only Scott knows the answer to the question that I've been searching so hard to find. There are more of us in that darkness than most people imagine. I know this is where I live. <laughs>